Good morning, I'm meteorologist TJ Del Santo. Happy Thursday. We are looking at a fairly quiet weather day before we have some rain showers on the way over the next 24 hours. We've got that ocean storm still out there in the Atlantic, and we're also tracking this area of low pressure working its way across the Midwest, and then it will be working right across southern New England over the next 24 hours. So let's see how it all plays out. We are looking at sunshine for today. Kind of a cold start in the afternoon, a little bit milder than yesterday. We are looking at some clouds to arrive uh, early this evening, and we'll be seeing some precipitation beginning, likely uh, well after dark. Initially, might even be in the form of some wet snowflakes in northern Rhode Island. Otherwise, just some rain showers overnight. We'll see some rain showers into your Thursday morning commute, probably more of a widespread rain developing on Friday, and it should be out of here by evening. And so that sets us up for a dry weekend, especially Saturday, where we are looking at some windy and colder conditions. Uh, temperatures moderate just a little bit for Sunday. All right, forecast for today. We are looking at uh, temperatures topping out around 41 with partly to mostly sunny skies. Winds from the southeast turning into the south, 5 to 10. For tonight, overnight lows down around 36 degrees. I'm thinking the temperatures fall and then hold steady and might actually go up a little bit later in the night. Uh, rain showers will be developing, maybe even some of those wet snowflakes inland. For tomorrow, yeah, we're looking at rain showers and maybe even a widespread rain throughout the late morning and afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow in the uh, mid 40s with those southwesterly winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Looking ahead into Saturday, it gets gusty and colder with temperatures topping out around 35 in the afternoon. We have milder temperatures on the way for next week. We'll be talking about that as well as the full seven-day forecast all morning long on 12 News this morning.